Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. The topic that we have today is about uh, the uh, mutual fund investors, especially the bond fund investors and what the uh, budget 2024 has got an impact on that. So without further delay, let's dive into it. So all of us know that uh, Tuesday the government has announced changes to your financial assets, the rates of uh, income taxes which have been uh, calculated on them. So the government has increased your uh, short term capital gains that has been increased from uh, uh, 15% to 20% and uh, the other things which also has been increased is your uh, the long term capital gains. So that is also attracted towards 12.5% uh, instead of your 10%. So this will automatically have an impact on your uh, mutual funds especially the bond fund investors and uh, Besides that, the government also has uh, implied uh, uh, the uh, income tax on the share buybacks as well. So recently we would have seen like companies when they buy back a share and uh, that amount which you are getting into your account, now there is a um, tax which has been levied on that up at a rate of 20%. So that's again calculated as a dividend and uh, that's again is like adding up an uh, extra weightage onto your uh, income taxes as well. In the budget 2024, the government has stayed committed to your fiscal uh, consolidation. So that's mean like they wanted to reduce the debt to the GDP ratio. So thereby the government wants to uh, reduce the physical deficit. So deficit which refers to the amount which the government spending which is like exceeding its revenue for a given fiscal year. So your uh, spending is going to be more and your uh, revenue income is going to be less. So this leads to increased borrowing and the accumulation of debt. So this uh, represents the amount uh, of the money which is required by the government to meet its spending obligations. So whenever an expectation of uh, the expenses uh, surpass its income, so we get these uh, deficit. And experts believe that this uh, fiscal consolidation will give RBI uh, some rooms to uh, cut the rates and thereby easing the bond yields. So the bond yields will be like definitely like going to be like reduced over time. And what does this impact on the mutual or the bond fund investors? So the finance minister has assured the uh, total debt to the GDP ratio will be declining trend in the coming years and the government is uh, planning for a deficit of 4.5% uh, or lower than that for the next financial year. So while the uh, fiscal deficit uh, target is like uh, better than like uh, 4.94, the bond market is like a bit disappointed because of this uh, reduction in the borrowings. So this reduction in the borrowings is definitely going to reduce their uh, interest rates as well. So the mutual fund investors in your bond market are definitely going to be like concerned into it. So these bonds yield are definitely like to drift lower. So they are going to be like reduced up after this uh, thing. And uh, after the uh, budget announcements, the benchmark, uh, the 10 year bond yield initially dropped to 6.93%. Again, it like slowly increased up after a few hours and uh, that's the current scenario of the uh, status. In fact, the government's uh, GSEC, the 10 year GSEC yield, it's like uh, eased from 7.35% in October to 7% uh, in March. So that's again, you're seeing an increased volatility and it is like trading in the broad range of 6.9% uh, to 7.2%. So despite all of these disappointments, some AMCs still believe that these uh, lower physical deficit will definitely bring in a demand supply balance in the bond market. So that's going to like add up uh, a demand supply which is going to be like a healthy thing which is going to be in the bond market as well. And there are experts who are again saying that uh, these bond yields should ease your uh, medium term uh, range bound uh, trading thing which is happening about 6.95 uh, to 7 percent on the immediate term. And analysts do believe that uh, these long term is going to be a, a positive thing for the long term and the benchmark uh, bond yield is definitely going to fall going ahead and uh, uh, on the uh, close of your improved macros. So despite your uh, stable uh, long term macro fundamentals, so the Indian bond market witnessed uh, very high end uh, volatility in the last few months if you have analyzed it because of the global cues of uh, mi mixed macro signals and uh, the central bank policies and uh, rising the geopolitical tension. So all these were like prevailing in the market and this was like all in a high peak volatility. So if you have noticed, uh, this is again going to be like lowered up when the uh, markets are in the days coming ahead. So this, uh, in summary, this budget 2024 brings in mixed feelings to the bond market. So ex uh, experts are suggesting that uh, uh, the duration of your uh, fixed income or your portfolio is like sleek to be like softening in the yields in the next few years. So uh, definitely there's going to be lower values which is happening in the bond market. And uh, if you are planning up for alternative investments, you can definitely go with your uh, hybrid fund kind of an investment strategy as well. 
and if you like this video do share it with your friends and uh, uh, let us know your comments on how you plan to uh, adjust your bond investments post this uh, budget rally and uh, i'll catch you up in the next one until then bye bye